what that, what that. Welcome, this is AAU TV and we are at the Legon 2020 Gusa Games and we have the 100 meters second heat winner from the University of Ghana in the name of Benjamin Azamati. Ben, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well. Sir. Great. That was a great run over there, powerful sprint. Well, no, you are just flexed in your running, so flex. How do you do it? Well, um, it, all it all happens at training and my coach and I have been working together towards taking it out, using my company, so I think um, that's making me do it in competition. Do you have any any skill or perhaps anything you want to put past in your sleeves that you, when you start the race you have this way of heating up and then you just reduce the pace but you still have the, the front line for yourself? How do you do it? Well, um, you try to get to your drive phase and then when you get to your maximum acceleration you choose the side of your eyeball to watch if your other opponents are coming if they are not you cool down and then that's all. Splendid. So should we expect more from Benjamin on in this event? Are you getting the gold on and on and on? 
well, um, everybody com com competing wants to win a gold. So I think that is what I want to do for sure. I have the winner for the men's 110 meters hurdles, and he is in the name of Eric Anobo. Eric. Yeah, How yes, you feeling? I'm feeling good. Tell me, what is you? What is your strength for the win today? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, actually, let's first of all give thanks to the United Lord for such a successful event. Uh, since yes, you have tried as much as possible to work hard so that I can win this year 2020 Games. So what is your message or what is your what, what's your strength for the next games? You know there's more to go. What is your, your strength or what is your plan for that? There is more strength I can say and all my target is to go at the world stage as well. Especially the incoming African Championship at Algeria. I'm looking forward to be part of that uh, competition and, uh, and the Olympics as well. Welcome back on AUTV. We have here Pansa Ayobi Danso from KNUSD. He was a competitor for the triple uh, jump, but unfortunately he lost the championship because he had a fracture. I want to talk to you before what really happened. Pansa, what happened? Okay, thank you both for this opportunity. Actually, the condition over there wasn't good for us because in our school, we train on the Titan. Yeah, that's the track. We run through the track before we jump. But when we came, we came here to see that they don't have that thing here. So we jump on the bare floor. And we've been here for like one week now. So during the training, I started developing this pain this, uh, at my waist. So one, one sometime, my coach told me not to do the jumps. I should just run through. So today, I was doing the jumps. I did my first to attend and I felt that it's coming. I'm developing the pain, the fracture. So like I tried with my third jump, it, it developed to some extent. So with my fourth jump, I couldn't even jump at all. I just did the hop step and I couldn't jump into the pit. That was when the fracture came and that was when the first eight people came with a stretch to take me here. How well was your first jump? Was it good acclimated to your win? Okay, actually my, when I'm doing a jump, my best comes at the latter part, that's the third, fourth, fifth. And so when I started with the jump, it wasn't the best for me, but I was developing the, uh, this and the confidence to do the rest of the jumps. But due to the, the fracture, I couldn't get to where my power comes in here. Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so, Doc, what's your general impression of the games today and that of yesterday? Um, so far, it has been very good. Performance by the individual athletes has been perfect. Um, the organization, I think, is very good. Yes. And what of the performance of the athletes of all the schools? Yes. Um, this year, I think we've seen a, a very, a much more improved performance. You know, over the last uh, Busa Games that was held in Cape Coast. Um, very competitive. All the athletes um, from all the universities, both men and women, are doing very well. Records are being shattered here. Yes, I think it's great. So, what what of the performance of UDS? Yes, um, UDS. Yes, we've come to win. Um, I think so far we are on track. We are determined to win the athletics and the women's football. Actually, we prepared to win both the men and women's football. For now, we have had some setbacks with the men's football. We have lost two matches. We are not too happy about that. Uh, we've gone back to the drawing board. We are preparing. The men could come up. Even if we don't win the gold, but I believe we'll win a medal. It could be silver, it could be bronze. And for the women, we are on track, we are on course. And I believe our women will, will win the female football trophy. The athletics, you have noticed that um, our women have already backed about um, five medals. The men have had two medals already. I think it's a very impressive performance. Doc, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Doc, I want you to tell me how has the program or Busa 2020 gone for you with all the planning and yeah, days of planning and all, how has it gone for you so far? I think that this is a good beginning. From the next one, I'm sure that um, those who didn't do very well this time will also put up their best and I'm sure they are going to get very good results and it's going to be more competitive. It's all about competition. Everybody wants to impress, win more gold medals. 
but the sizes are different. The big ones will always lead, but the smaller ones are not being left out. And I think that is very good. And um, if we keep it up, I'm sure that the time will come, nobody can get up and say, I'm the champion. Everybody will be trying to be the champion. And I think it's good for Gusa Games.